Hello everyone, this is Suja. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today we're talking about the Space Code Farts entity. My favorite entity from Cliff High's reports, Alta 2016 May. Again, these reports that I'm making videos on, they're all free on his website, halfpasthuman.com. You can download them as a zip. You can go through them on your own. Actually, I encourage all of you to go through it on your own and make videos You know, on your favorite parts or things that you thought were interesting. Um, this is this is my video. I'm making it on Space Code Farts because, like I said in my other videos, I, it's my favorite. I bought I bought these reports back in the day just to read these these specific segments because they're filled with aliens and cool stuff and you know freaky weather and and wireless telepathy. And it, it's this is weirdly cool. Okay, all right, awesome. Let's just jump into it. The Terra Entity forecast ramping up in earthquakes and land ships and ocean changes are all extensively cross-linked over to the Space Code Farts Entity where we saw solar dynamic activity as a terminating subset. So, you know, be on the uh, lookout for ramping up in earthquakes, land ships, and ocean changes, and it's all related to solar dynamic activity. Um, you may want to look into electric universe theory and how plasma is pretty much the ruler of it all and you know what how plasma works in space and how that affects weather down here because the sun is a very uh let's just say the sun is a very central uh player in in the weather of planet earth and all the other planets anyways all of these cross links are minor compared to the massive cross connection between sun disease and the global pop entity so i'm going to highlight that green these data sets are pointing to significant impacts, okay, on humanity directly attributable to solar radiation, okay. Even though the radiation will be unseen, unknown, and undetected at the time. So the radiation is going to be undetectable at, at the time when it's happening. When we basically come out of it, then we'll be like, oh, look, during that fog of war, we didn't see that those things were in play, you know. We didn't see that, but usually, usually once you go through the event, then be like, oh yeah, of course, there was all these things going on. <laughs> so yeah, hindsight is twenty twenty. Foresight, maybe not. But uh, one other quote I, I learned recently was, foresight is a good teacher, uh, experience is a harsh teacher. So do with that what you will. Without regard to its initial descriptors, the sub-disease impacts on humans will be reported even in the mainstream propaganda press shortly after the first intense burst. I would presume this is about uh, the CCP virus, the coronavirus, the COVID-19 virus, but I'm not entirely sure. Sub-disease impacts, okay. The data sets for the sun disease are also forecasting that further erratic solar weather will be causing challenges here on Earth and the other planets. Perfect, if you're, <laughs> if you're living on Mars, hey, you got your challenges too. <laughs> Uh, what if, you know, if you're living on Saturn or Venus or any of these other planets, and I am joking because I don't, I don't necessarily think anybody's living there. But if, if there are aliens out there listening to my little little rant here and uh, my little interpretation of Cliff's work, it's gonna get, you know, little little uh, rough for you guys. <laughs> Use all that alien tech to um, deal with it. Okay, um, let's go back. As the Terran weather shifts into visible wonkiness with snows in the summer and heat waves at the poles and other demonstrations of never before seen reported strange weather phenomena. Okay, good. Weather phenomena that's strange and never before seen. Okay, this is great. We need to have like an archive of these videos that we're going to see. These weather phenomena will include more erratic um, ocean currents and increasing heat waves leading to large uh, fish population deaths in near shore waters while also producing blinding fogs in the middle in the midday sun in areas outside of view of land these midday evaporation fogs are also going to show up on satellite photos and cause some considerable world um, discussion for those of you who are into fish in terms of eating them and cultivating them and whatnot if it's your business you know as in fishing in the ocean specifically you might want to just run your own fish farm like you might want to just do aquaponics on your own because this may lead to one of other one of one of clips video when, when he did it with road to ruda um bix he was talking about year zero year 2022 or 2023 where we are going to only have like 30 days of growing uh growing season and the rest of the year you know there might be large famines he was talking about how you know and i think i don't know if it's 2024 or whatever somewhere in this decade we're gonna have a specific um 
uh, shortage of fish. So you might want to get into fish and, and growing fish and, 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 you know, cultivating fish. Many other new sets are referring to odd and exceptional and out of place slash out of time phenomena to be encountered over 2016. He says 2016, but he himself says, you know, timing's not accurate. Timing's a snitch. So this may be 2020. Um, so yeah, so it's going to be encountered this, I would presume this decade and reported upon. Much of the reports are to be dismissed as there will be piling on effect, but data is forecasting some of the initial reports will be credible and will speak to truly bizarre events here on Earth. Okay. Well, I'm still waiting for the aliens, Cliff. <laughs> I don't know how bizarre it can get after that. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my God, this is great. Some of the bizarre events may be better understood as trailing events for from the meddling at the energetic level of the CERN and Large Hadron Collider. Oh, okay. These sets are suggesting that ephemeral effects may, uh, may be created here on Earth, but outside the confines of the um, Large Hadron Collider's mag uh, magnetic fields, such that self-directed magnetic forces, I'm going to highlight that, will be established and cause panics where the effects appear. Please note, no further details will be offered on the effects produced by these fields as it will. it is one of those self-fulfilling self things to be avoided according to the data accretion patterns. Basically, we'll recognize it later. So enough said at this point is what Cliff's, Cliff wrote. <laughs> All right, Cliff, I'm, 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 I'm happy with that. I'm very happy that I know about this. So, you know, if I'm panicking in the middle of nowhere for no reason, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's probably those, those you know, pesky LHC magnetic field waves, you know, the self-directed field forces. So at least I won't freak out as badly as most people who have no idea what the hell's happening in their minds. So thanks, Cliff. Thanks for the warning. All right. The space goat farts entity is also suggesting that real sort of space farts, gross, <laughs> will descend over Earth. These are actually sets that are describing new smells that will be accompanying the evaporation fogs, at least temporarily. Ew, gross, but okay, I'll, I'll accept this, no problem. As long as I get my aliens, <laughs> so I can tell them to get off my lawn, which I don't have, <laughs> it's great. All right, these smells are described as being cloying, C-L-O-Y-I-N-G is, is how it's spelled, cloying, and blanketing whole regions, okay. As was affecting even pilots, mostly small airplanes. The data sets are describing something that will be a precursor to larger events later in the decade, but not of immediate concern. So I'm not entirely sure if you can count that as a temporal marker or not, um, but I will be, you know, if I find it, I'll be like, oh, temporal marker for that, or, oh, this is indicating that there's more confidence for the events are gonna be, you know, larger events are gonna be, you know, uh, happening in the later decade. So I'll, you know, I'll be either on the lookout or it'll hit me in one of the, one of the two cases. <laughs> Generally it just hits me. <laughs> I don't have to look for, I'm like, oh wait, I read about this in Cliff's report. I saw this, this, and this, this all matches. Okay. Anyways, the power of Twitter and Facebook and all the social media, just, you just, you know, all you have to do is tune it correctly and specific news will find you. All right, so the space grid farts entity also contains growth in areas with extensive crosslinks over to markets entity as well as the global pop entity where the area of space exploration and space exploitation are described as taking up some new materials into space that will react unexpectedly and produce the first space industrial crisis of this century. Looking forward to that. Um, somehow this space industrial crisis is indicated to be one of great concern to certain latitudes here on earth. No detail sets to speak of related to the source of the crisis and the interpretation is that the cause and effects may be some months off or may be withheld for some number of months such that the news comes out in early 2000 and, uh, 2017. But again, timing's a snitch, so it might be 2021. If this, you know, d depending on what year this emerges, just add the, add the extra year. So if this, if this whole thing emerges this year, then it's going to be 2021. If it emerges next year, then it's going to be 2022. So, you know, plus one is basically what you want to do. But first, we got to get this to this to happen, or we got to wait for this to emerge, and then we can say, oh, that happened. Ah, universe is a, universe is a wonky probability vector with emergent properties. Love it. All right, 
<clears throat> the Space Code Forest entity has many crosslinks over to the USA, USA Pop entity where the subject viewed from this perspective could be labeled as new improved solar nudism. Giggity. Giggity, okay. <laughs> the idea coming from the data sets in both entities is that the that an invention will link humans to solar light in ways not before experienced, such that the new social phenomena with many of the aspect sets of spiritual cults will be taking off in the USA pop. I am looking forward to this invention. Um, I am I am all about solar nudism, whatever that may be. Um, these sets are further showing that the technology over the early 2020s will be adopted by global pop in some significant numbers as it has by then been proven out. By the way, when he says early 2020s, I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be 2030s because you know, maybe it was off like I said, the timing is off, so it, it may not be. If he, if he, if he said this in 2016, it's probably off by at least four to five years. So, um, in my opinion, uh, so it might be 2025 or near that that we get this invention with with this phenomenon of solar nudism. <laughs> this is great. You can't make this up. This is genius. Pure pure genius. All right, these sets are all right. So okay. Of those sets which terminate links from the USA pop entity, the majority within the Space Code Fox entity also have branches going over to the Marcus entity. Many of these sets continue to continue the growth around new solar technology. All right. I am I am in a I'm all about the solar nudism. Like I wanna see Venus in her full spectrum. It'd be great. <laughs> God is Venus. <laughs> Unclothed. <laughs> Anyways, back to more reading. Okay, the data sets bulging out in the space unknown items ufo sets have new sets to indicate all the work being done by minions of official dumbs okay let me just read it read it read this okay the data sets bulging out the space parentheses unknown items parentheses ufos parentheses and then close parentheses right so unknown space ufo related items sets have new sets that indicate that all the work being done by the minions of official dump to hide the UFOs will be undone for hundreds of millions of humans as the phenomena of UFOs makes it quite clear that humanity is not alone. Yes, I'm about this, Cliff. I want to know. I, I want to see these things. I want to see aliens. I am I'm a big fan of aliens. I'm not going to lie. Like I freaking love aliens. I don't love them in the sense that I love them greater than humanity. I just love the idea that there's other intelligent life out there. And that's great. They may be benevolent, may not be, may not even care about our existence, but the fact that they exist is great. It's just fantastic. Makes my life into a sci-fi movie. <laughs> okay, the non-disclosure disclosure is going to involve a solar event that is described as defining this year into history. The data sets that describe this event slash manifestation are filled with supporting subsets for electrical connection in which the relationship of the sun to the earth is clearly demonstrated. Uh, okay, I'm gonna highlight that. This demonstration indica is indicated to include a return current from the Earth that is described as sheet-like or a wide, thinnish plane of electrical activity. Okay, um, I have this book on uh, electric universe and it, it talks about plasma sheets and stuff. So this is gonna be cool as heck and I'm looking forward to this. All right. There continues to be growth in sets for spectacular sky vision effects optics in many different parts of model space, but almost all of these have crossed links back to Space Code Fast Entity where our terminating sets fall into the broader category of unknown. The data sets further are showing that the unknown part of the larger set is going to be deeper and more dense than before the sky shows begin. Okay. So so, all right. So before be, before we even get the the sky show, the other deeper unknown stuff is gonna be like there, and it's more dense. Data would seem to be suggesting that the upcoming sky spectaculars will be making human science go backwards to unlearn bad understanding. Yes, I'm about that true science life, son. I want to understand it at the real level. It'll be great. I wonder if. If aspects of psychological uh, uh, psychedelic journeying will be incorporated into our new sciences, or, or you know, once we un you know unlearn all the bad understandings, 
bad does not mean like negative in the moral sense. It bad means incorrect is what I'm I'm presuming. Uh, it means okay. Other sun related sets in the new data sh uh, show that the earthquakes of this year are going to be very much less than those of 2017. Again, timing's a snitch. So if he's talking about this year, which I think he is, then um, it's going to be less than less than the previous year. I, I don't. I honestly don't understand this area. So I'll just I'll just highlight it anyway. So let me just repeat that for those of you listening. Other sun related sets in the new data show that the earthquakes of this year are going to be very much less than those of 2017. Again, timing's a snitch. Oh, I see what he's saying. He's saying, you know, suppose this is 2020 and earthquakes are happening. 2021 is where we're going to have the better, bigger, more spectacular earthquakes, which is not good because earthquakes kill people and cause property damage and all that other non fun stuff. Okay, so the growth pattern of earthquakes language, especially in the longer term data types, is becoming more concentrated in the scope and density for mid to late 2017. Ah, I see. So suppose that we have earthquakes this year. Uh-uh. We're going to, whatever we have is not, is going to be kind of small compared to the next year, 2021. So, you know, watch out for those um, and uh, learn about, uh, I think there's something called the triangles of safety or, or something like that where you you like hide near the fridge or some specific area of your house so when the earthquake does hit like you have a, a higher chance of being alive for specific reasons i would have to look it up but that's probably what you want to do if you're in an earthquake zone you really ought to pay attention to this part yet more strange stuff from space is popping up in the model space as it's progressed through July and August, not associated with meteors, yet somehow in a supporting position to the non-disclosure disclosure of UFOs, uh, the data sets are describing a something that has more unknown than known elements to it. I would, I would be saying, um, given the, oh, the, the strange inter, uh, <laughs> intersolar system or extraterrestrial comet that, or sorry asteroid that came Oumuamua I'm a, I'm presuming that's what this is talking about um but I again I don't know maybe maybe I'll know once this year is over um or when these things start manifesting the very few items that do make sense would seem to be describing a tourist ship or fun expedition adventure the way it is coming out of the data sets, it would appear that humans just may be a roadside attraction for intergalactic cruise line. Dude, we need to have our own intergalactic cruise line. This is unfair, all right? I wanna, I wanna go around the universe and just chill and cruise. That'd be great, you know? I'm jealous of the aliens. They get to go on intergalactic cruises and while our, our entire civilization is falling apart. <laughs> and, you know, COVID-19 has pretty much shut down the, uh, the cruise industry. Man, these guys are having fun and we're just sitting here like, you know, sorting stuff out. All right, and then what? what's the final sentence? And the really interesting part is that the visitors are indicated to leave behind trash. So some intergalactic aliens on an intergalactic cruise line kind of a thing is gonna show up. I guess just leave trash around. <laughs> oh my, all right, well, I'm gonna I'm wait for this. All right, and uh, I wanna claim some trash. I wanna like reverse engineer their their trash to see what they made. It'd be cool. One man's intergalactic trash is another man's technological leap, right? <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope I made a good reading of this. Hope you like my lovely um, highlighting. Basically, earthquakes, fam. Also, you know, weird weather phenomena and you know, fish populations dying with bizarre uh, bizarre weather. Uh, whether are things happening? Oh, and yeah, Large Hadron Collider is going to cause some self-directed magnetic forces to be established and cause panics where they fear appear. And it's going to be not good in, the, in a sense, but eventually once we understand, oh, that's what's going on, then, you know, we can shut it down and we can, we can heal and recover. But uh, in the meantime, it's going to cause panics. So watch out for that. And if you, if you get caught up in any of these events, remember, you know, there's more events to come. It's not the, not the thing not the final end if you get caught up in the especially the the self-directed magnetic field one um keep reminding yourself that hey cliff i already predicted this you know 
it's going to cause some panic and it's not your fault. You know, you just have to sort of move away from the, the field. At least I would, I would just presume that's the, that's the solution. Okay. Also, you know, you're going to have some new smells and some interesting <laughs> wording, like real sort of space farts will descend over the earth and that'll, uh, that'll be great. Um, and remember the, the, the evaporation fogs. Um, what else is he saying? There's going to be certain uh, precursors to larger events in this decade. And of course, we're going to have our space industrial crisis. We're going to, you know, be in space exploring and then, you know, we're going to use and, you know, exploiting space. So uh, area of space exploration and space exploitation are described as taking up some new materials in space. Okay, so that's good. You know, space is great. Um, we need more space. Uh, we can't all invent a Dymaxian house. <laughs> Buckman Mr. Fuller is, was a. Uh, I read a little bit of his uh, stuff. It's, yeah, it rings a lot of it rings true today, to be honest. All right, so new improved solar uh, nudism, which is going to be super cool. I want one of those little whatever it is, and you know, I want to see Venus in all her glory, and Mars, and Jupiter, and all the other planets. <laughs> I, I won't say the uh, the actual planet that would make it a little derogatory, but you you get the idea. All right, and then obviously, you know, millions of people are going to see uh, UFOs and whatever work that was done by the minions of official dumb to hide it. It's just going to vanish. It's going to be just like that, done. And then spectacular sky effects, you know, you know, finish plane of electrical activity that is described as a return current from the Earth to the uh, to the sun. Okay. And then obviously we're gonna have earthquakes the following year, and those are gonna be a little bit more uh, and more intense. So whatever earthquakes we may have this year, it's probably gonna be a lot worse in the year after that. And then obviously more strange stuff from space, you know, uh, and then you got the aliens leaving their trash. And that's about it. All right, well, have a wonderful day and uh, I'll see you in the next Space Code Farts report. Bye for now. And uh, thank you for tuning in.